Hi, I'm Tad Shelby and I'm here to show you how a space navigator works with Google Earth. When navigating in Google Earth, one would typically use the on-screen navigation controls as I'm doing here to move forward or back. Or I can click and drag within the window to move in any direction I want. I can also use this handy wheel to move around a given point in front of me. Or the equivalent keystrokes on my keyboard. Here's the space navigator. It has a heavy metal base, so it doesn't move around your desk, a cap, which is spring-mounted and pressure-sensitive. If I want to move forward, I push on the back of the cap. If I want to move back, I pull or slide the cap back gently, left, right. If I want to go up, I gently pull up on the cap, or down, I press down on the cap. If I also want to look down, I can tilt the cap down. Like I said, it's spring-mounted. Or I can tilt the cap up to look at the horizon. The real trick comes when you learn how to do all of these things at once, so that you can go in one direction and change directions and fly seamlessly and fluidly through Google Earth. Here, as I drive down the Golden Gate Bridge, I can lift up on the cap and tilt down at the same time, so I keep the bridge in view. Pull back to keep my view in or push forward to move back down where I started from. It's a feeling that some have described as addictive. It's also worth mentioning that the Space Navigator also works with Google Sky Mode. So now you can fly among the stars.